Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Cincinnati Bearcats taking on the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Buffaloes will get us started with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Cincinnati's offense will get the first possession of the game. And as we watch this wide receiver come onto the field, when you have a dude like this, you find ways to get him the ball over and over again, no matter what the defense tries to take away. Yeah, because the defense can't win. Whether you double-team him, we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball on quick passes. They're going to throw it deep, and they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the tailback. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. Looking for a man. It's Soresby. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. The lone back's got it. A stop him cold maybe gets a yard to the 34. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. He wants to pass it on second down. Got it in the middle, it's Royer. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Dances away from the pressure, going to his left. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. On that play-action fake, the action was the quarterback got clobbered after he faked the handoff. Yeah, it definitely didn't work. Um, the fake is supposed to be the most important part of that, to try to get the guys to suck up just for a second. But you could tell the offensive line, they weren't able to hold their blocks. Defense got to him and got the sack. The Bearcats will line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. 
So Colorado's offense headed on to the field. Our first look at them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. The Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. Wide receiver shows motion. Leaves it with the back. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. A third and long coming up here. To throw it's Sanders feeling some heat didn't have much of a choice just had to throw that one away it'll be fourth down and the Buffaloes will call on their punt team let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one Makes a move. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. They'll run the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. Shotgun snap on third down. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus, and the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. The Bearcats decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Give to the back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. On first down from their own 22. He'll pull it on the read. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Yeah, and it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience at the quarterback spot. But nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. Here comes the offense on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Hayden. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. 
That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He's got his man. Turns it on in midfield. He's loose on the right. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Colorado. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you had my stats. I like those long touchdown passes where I just threw it really short, and he did the rest of the work. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with some flair. A 73-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Fielded in the end zone, it's Henderson. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. And here comes the offense on second down. Wants to throw. It's Soresby. He hurls one deep down the left side. And a penalty flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. But this is going to be a positive play for the offense. Defense with pass interference coming. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. You simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Forced out of the pocket. He's going to run it. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. They'll run this play from the pistol. They'll go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But you got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Makes the grab down the middle. And they'll move the chains and a good way to wrap up the first quarter. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. The Bearcats have it with a first and ten. Out of the gun, the inside give. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. He'll try it again. And the Bearcats get enough for the first down. And most importantly, they got the first. They've been getting pushed around up front this game and haven't created a lot of lanes to run the football. But 
You needed it. You needed that first down. You needed to get the sticks moving. You need to run some clock. So good job by the offense finding a little bit of space to get the first down. And the Bearcats are moving quickly down the field. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Now facing a third and long. Now they'll run the draw. All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball. But great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. On third and long, he has to throw for it. A little screen to the running back. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split him out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving a ball out of the backfield. How nice is it to have a running back with this guy's skill set, right? That's not a guaranteed give me fourth down conversion either, but still, they trust in him to find the crease and keep this drive alive. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Going for six. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Yeah, and that's nice coverage. He's taking a shot, trying to throw the ball to the end zone. Maybe put that thing up a little bit higher where his guy can go up and make a play and come down. But a nice job by the defender just getting his fingertip on the top of the football. Goes to the option. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And I tell you what, it's hard to be a quarterback in an option offense when you've got so many things you have to be accountable for, and then you got to take care of the football, right? When you do make the decision to run, right or wrong, it's your decision. Now you got to wrap that thing up. You can't fumble the football. Man. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. The Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Complete to the left. Oh, look out! The 20! And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Buffaloes! 
That touchdown puts them up by at least two scores. Too early to say it's over? Probably, but boy, it's starting to feel that way. It might not be over, but you're in trouble, and you better find some answers really, really quickly. This team is putting everything together, and right now you got nothing going. Come on, give me something. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. On second down, looking to throw. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to pass, it's Soresby. Buys a little time. 35, he's open. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Off play action on first down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. The give out of the gun. Just a one-yard gain leaves him with third and nine. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. On third down, going up top. Safe completion on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Bearcats will punt it away on fourth down. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Going to run it. It's Hayden. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. To the air, it's Sanders. Hubs it downfield. Got his man! And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Yeah, and the 
quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. After that last big gainer, they'll put it in play first and 10 from their own 49. Use the play fake, now to throw. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. He's out of bounds after a really nice game, but there is a marker on the field. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Let's it fly deep downfield. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. This defense is going to have to make some adjustments here at halftime because they have been taken advantage of deep down the field in the passing game. They've already given up two TD passes. That was almost number three, and we're only in the first half. And the Buffaloes line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. On first down, here comes this offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Caught over the middle, it's Smith. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys, that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. Run crisp routes. You can throw it short, you can throw it long, but they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. Back to throw, it's Soresby. Finds a man on the left. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive. And I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do. And just missed a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of those deep balls. Got his man downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. The Bearcats with the first and ten. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. And the offense, they're lucky that one wasn't intercepted. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way, making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. 
I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Finds a tight end. They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. The Bearcats will kick it away first and will start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Quickly complete. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. This offense is going to try and stretch the field vertically and horizontally. They did their throwing it to their running back, but the defense, they were in perfect position to make that play for no gain. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Wants to throw on second down. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Makes the grab. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator. It's a lot of DCs. They focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they are going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. They're going to throw it again. And here's a fumble way behind the line. He picks it up, still on his feet. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job with ball security. Second down after the offense averted absolute disaster. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You got to get running backs involved. You got to get your big fellas. You got to get the tight ends going too. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed over the middle. It's Horn. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Just an ill-advised play by the defender to make contact with the quarterback after the throw, and it cost his team. He'll come out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Hayden. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. 
This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I think a lot of quarterbacks like those defenses that will be passive and let you let it slowly develop. Nah, this defense, you could tell, they were aggressive and attacking, and it really paid off. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. A strike downfield. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And that is a huge conversion on third and long for the offense. I think a lot of people thinking, hey, we're just going to try to get a couple yards, help our kicker out here to kick a field goal. But instead, they get a massive play, and now all of a sudden, they're thinking touchdown here first and goal. With the run on first and goal. Smashes ahead. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. They keep pushing forward. Now back to work on second and goal from the six. Using the quick game. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. On third and goal, they'll try to throw it in. Touchdown, Bucks! And they take it in for six more points has been surgical precision passes using the scaffold the fine instrument rather than the blunt one and the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. just uh, he's been down their throats all game long a step ahead understanding what he's seeing and just destroying this defense He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So they started that drive barely into opponent's territory and went 48 yards, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. The Bearcats want to move quickly. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Find his tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Yeah, nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat. I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the D. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Looking downfield. It's Soresby. They're setting up the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. And so many things have to come together perfectly for a screen to work for big yardage. And they were close. You could tell that almost busted, but they just got wrapped up. Got a little bit of yardage, but they really wanted that one to be a big game. They want to just keep throwing it. Makes a connection. 
That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. And the offense has found a lot of success throwing to this guy out of the slot. He's done a nice job working the middle of the field, winning his one-on-one -on -one matchups, and this quarterback really feels a good rhythm when he's looking his way. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. They'll run it from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And tackled there by the defense. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down mark, but tried to get to it. Got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. They'll try to run for it. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up. And they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up the tackle for loss. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. Field goal is good. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. On the ground, it's Hayden. Jukes his way for more. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll try to run for it. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. A lot of coaches put a lot of emphasis on situational type running, right? When it's a goal to go to situation, short yard in the situation, like when I need to run the football and they know I'm running the football right there. I haven't had a lot of success, but I needed a few yards to get the first down. Great job by the offensive line, creating some space and getting the first down. He'll do it himself. Makes it past the marker. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. And the Buffaloes are marching down the field. They'll leave it with him. Out of the crowd, and now he's got room. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. 
I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going. And you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. Moves it forward just a bit, a pickup of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the run, it's Hayden. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep running the football. Everything is going according to plan right now. They've been able to stay on the field. They put some nice plays together back to back to back, and they're bleeding the clock. This is exactly what you practice for for situations like this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Here's the handoff. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Gets it out quickly. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. So many playmakers, so much speed in college football, so many big plays after the catch. Not on this instance. The defense did a great job reacting to the throw, getting there in a hurry, and making sure he didn't get any yards after that catch. To the air, it's Sanders. Got his man on the right. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it, keep getting those stats. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. We've seen throughout this drive success for the offense when they've been running the quarterback. Finally, though, the defense got it right. Everybody played their assignment. They honed in on him, and they got a big stop. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Looking for a crease. It's Hayden. Baird is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. I don't know about that play call, man. Your quarterback's already thrown three TDs in this game. Pollock, let him cook down here. Yeah, I mean, trying to show some balance, but he, he has had a great day. I trust him. This is a good situation. I'm going to put the ball in his hands, and I'm going to let him throw this football and get a touchdown. Looking to throw on third and goal. He wants it all. Touchdown, Colorado. And the pummeling has started. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Lining up to add another. And the extra point gives him a 28-3 lead. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Looking downfield, it's Soresby. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. And the third down pass is incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Direct snap. The Bearcats get enough to move the chain. Well, I don't think the defense was expecting run on that last fourth and two play. Good job by the offense keeping them off balance with that play call. And the Bearcats will line it up on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Smith. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Using his legs to buy some time. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. They'll try to get the first through the air. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Looking for more room. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Now on second down. On the run, it's Hayden. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They'll give it to the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, and really good third down situational defense. You, you know it's third and long. You know the pass play's coming. Defense was ready. Nice job forcing the fourth down. So how good are you feeling right now if you're on offense in this situation? You want to just play conservative? You want to punt it over and let nope. your defense finish out the game? Nope. Or do you trust your quarterback to go make a play and win the game right now? 
Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. You've got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field. The last thing you want to do here is give up a big return, pin them back, and then the defense can just stop them from scoring a touchdown. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity, too, just to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little bit. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. To the air, it's Soresby. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. 